So this is Mulani's character skill showcase. She's very, very easy to learn. I'm just, I just read over it really quick. So I'm just gonna go over it now and make it quite simple. So she is basically this, a hydro damage dealer with high mobility. Now, all you need to know is that her normal attacks are kind of important, as well as her elemental skill and burst. They're all equally important. Now, in Natalyn, when you use the elemental skill, you'll be able to do all of this like wave riding on the, surf on the surfboard. Very, very important. This old uses a mechanic called Night Soul or Night Soul Blessing. And you can see in the bottom here, I can show you guys, it all consumes the Night Soul points here. You have a little stamina bar, which it uses. It's very, very important. Now, with her normal attacks, she will release missiles if this amount of points are uh, maximized. And how you get those points is through her elemental skill. So if you see on the, you know, on the left side here, you can see the little three, three boys are like triggered. You do that, you mark the opponents, this guy fires off, and then it fires the missiles, which is pretty cool. Now, this also based off of your maximum HP. Most hydro characters are like that. Yelan, uh, Nivlet, it, most higher characters are now HP scaling. So that is very, very important. And then this is her with the burst, the boom sharkalaka, which is pretty cool. I really like the uh, animation for that. It, it looks like it deals some decent damage, especially because it's based on the maximum HP, which is, which is nice. And then here is the um, passive talent for your uh it's the little night soul point that the, the, the bottom thing it's very very important now this is something cool if you're using any other character other than walani to like swim or something like that once you switch over to walani she quickly comes into the you know the on field character and she just straight up goes it's pretty cool uh yeah i mean that's a very very important talent now this is also things to consider using a mental skill you get more movement speed and interruptions resistance pretty big and normal attacks converted to sharky bites after the whole situation with the elemental skill which is very very important now night soul aligned higher damage based on wall and his max hp is just you just increase damage here that's all you need to know about this increase damage and um, the sharky bites are also considered to be normal attack damage so your normal attack is going to be very very important now when she is in this state, she attacks opponents, um, they have the mark on them, she gains a movement or wave momentum stack. And this stacks three times, increasing your damage over time, uh, over the amount of stacks that you have, sorry, which is very, very important. Um, you can stack, uh, I think, up to five missiles, which is very good. And then at the end of it, you throw another, like, uh, missile which deals 72 percent of the original which is pretty nice now here is uh, the passive talents that she has and all of them have a role to play with her obviously you got the one where she just comes into play on the on field and she gain gains like 29 soul points or 49 soul points i consider that a very big passive talent and then there's the um whenever you're using the sharky surging bite which is the normal attack damage after you use the elemental skill. It's very complicated sounding, but it really isn't. You gain a puffer, and then when you collect the puffer, you get night soul points. You can get two puffers, I think. And um, when you trigger, or any of the party members trigger the night soul burst, only gains one stack of her uh, wave chaser, quote unquote, right? You can get a maximum of three, and with that, uh, she uses the Boom Sharkalaka to clear the stacks and increase the amount of damage that you do uh, based on her max HP as well, which is very cool. It sounds really complicated, but once you play her, it will be very fluent or fluid rather, and it will be easy to understand. And yeah, it's yeah. And then you have the build resource thing. Very, very easy. Now we are going to be reacting to the Molani teaser as well. But all I wanted to say is that this character looks absolutely amazing. It's going to be very movement oriented. And I hope um, hope she's just fun in general. Okay, let's, let's, let's just go straight into the reacting. Mm. Stop right there. Hand over all your mora. Never mind. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, kick. Still, as I mean, the but say, if you can solve a problem with Mora, might as well take the easy road. <laughs> oh, you're new 
cool at this, aren't you? First robbery? Why does it feel like it's more clear? I don't know. This is for you. Not because you tried to take it, but because you're about to do me a favor. Mm. Oh, you know this area. Oh, dude. Dude, the region and the colors are so sick. Little random character. I'm sorry. I wouldn't have done this if there was any other way. Is this is an important character? Or just an NPC? <laughs> that is pretty sick. I like that. I like that. Oh, yo, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. <laughs> Today was awesome. You're not a bad person after all. Not anymore. I can show not you anymore. She'll go back to being a bad dude. He's just a guide. I thought she'd be like, surfs up, wicked. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Is that it? Wait, that was kind of lame. Wait, that was that was kind of lame. Let me just show us that. Oh, she's uh she's a guide and she does guide things and protects little young ones. I guess it's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much it. I'm actually excited for Molani's like release. It'll be pretty fun. Um, definitely excited to try out the movement style. So yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one very soon.